right so as you can see I have now completed all of that so all of these walls are covered hopefully you've done the same there's some little awkward bits like in here I needed to use the connect tool to kind of half that square so that I could extrude uh, this one out over there um, generally speaking it should be okay now next thing um, just talking about these kind of doors so when you have exterior doors if you think we're going to extrude up from this so exterior doors you know they don't go literally to the ground you know you don't open your door to outside and it's literally against the ground you know much like an interior door would be um, so we're going to need those polygons there all right where the exterior doors would be and the front there as well but the interior ones see some of them i have gaps some of them i don't we don't need any geometry there because we're not extruding that up because interior doors you know you just kind of walk through don't you there's no there's nothing there that we need so i can just push the delete key on any polygons on interior doors because i just don't need them okay so i think that's all of them yeah great so we can now come out of top view back into my perspective view again um, and I need the this reference image because we're going to be extruding up now so we need to see what's going on at the actual you know the elevations of the building <clears throat> right so I'm just going to change that color actually so it doesn't clash with you know when you select something it's red it's not generally good to have it red in the beginning so I'm going to start extruding up so I want to extrude up in stages because um, if I just extruded up right to the top of the building, I'd have no um, edges in going horizontally, um, which I'll need, which will make sense in a second. So what are we going up to here? So you can see there's this little foundation that the building is on. OK, so the first things first, I need to extrude up to there. So with this selected, go to Polygon and do Control A and it will select every single polygon, which is great. And I'm going to go to extrude and I'm going to uh, click the little settings dialog, which is here. So I can adjust this manually. Um, and I want to go up to, again, we're kind of eyeballing it because we don't have those dimensions yet. All right, we're not working with dimensions at this stage. So, yeah, I'd say that looks about that's right. So I'm going to tick there. So there you go. My first little extrusion of the walls is all working great. Next thing we're going to come up to is probably the bottom of these windows there. We're going to need some detailing in for that. So this will be good if you've got a, a double monitor. You can see them both at the same time, but I don't. So that needs to be, I'd say, about there. That'll do. We can always adjust this later. That's fine. Next up, we've got um, to if you look at these windows at the side. That height is probably our next thing that we're going to get to. So let's extrude again. It's going to be about there. Great. Then the next thing is going to be probably like the top of these windows and all of the doors are all along the same line. So we'll do to that next. And just eyeballing it, that's probably going to be about to there. Um, next, we've got like the top of the actual walls on this left hand side of the building there. Um, let's wait, take that, extrude again, only a tiny bit this time, about there. Okay, uh, that's where I'm going to stop for now because beyond there we have a sloping roof. And we're going to come back to that a little later on. So for now, we've gone up to you know this side of the roof, which is above all of our main windows and doors, which is gives us enough to go on for now. Um, and now we can see the real benefit of coming up in stages because I can see that like this polygon here and that polygon there, that's those windows on the side. And I already have all of the, you know, that polygon is cut out now for me. Okay. Door-wise, uh, I've got those three polygons there. It's going to be that front door. Okay. In terms of scaling, that probably might be wrong, but we can adjust that in a minute. Um, 
and I, you know if I Alt X, I can see you know there's windows here, so I know that that's going to be those windows because that's a bigger window down that side, um, or just those two. Sorry, yeah. Okay, so that's all that. That's the benefit of doing this. All this detailing is all, all automatically there for us. And what I've done is I actually deliberately missed out an edge here where these double doors are at the front. You see, like we've got these double doors. Okay, I can see them in the reference image there, but I'm missing an edge going down there. So you might go around yours and think, oh no, I've missed an edge. I've realized I've missed an edge. Don't worry, this is how to fix it. So I'm going to go to edge mode here. Uh, so it needs to be between there. So I'm going to select that one. And you've got these options here, ring and loop. So if I go ring, it's going to select that whole ring of edges. If I select one again and go loop, it selects all the way around. So that's where, you know, if you need to do some adjustments to the heights, you can do that. But if I go to ring, we're going to use that old connect tool to add a new edge there. And then I'm going to, sorry, just move that to there. All right, so if you missed any uh, vertical edges, you can add those in. Um, <clears throat> yeah, height-wise, so obviously, yeah, you can adjust everything by selecting loop and adjusting those. But what if you wanted to adjust the full height? Because if you select that one and go loop, it doesn't go all the way round. So what I would do is just go to your side view, go to vertex, and then marquee select, making sure you're just getting that top row come back to our perspective view and i can you know pull that up like that okay because i think i need to be a bit higher okay i can go yeah just make some adjustments at this point you might spend some time tweaking and what i normally judge it by is going by the interior doors um you know do they look like they're kind of the right scale um, again, because we're eyeballing it, as long as it looks fine, then that's all right for now. Right. Okay. So next bit, I'm also going to include in this video. So we've got all our heights sorted out. Now we need to cut out where these windows and doors are going to be. So we'll start on these ones on the left-hand side. So if I select this polygon, there's a window there. Select the polygon on the, either, the other side, um, which I've just realized. Let's go back. It hasn't brought up. Yeah, so when we do that uh, loop selection, it doesn't do the interior ones as well. So I'm going to have to hold control and loop all the interior ones because we need it to match on both sides of the wall. Glad I saw that. So let's bring that back up. Okay, that's fine. So now when I select those two polygons there, they're the same. And if I push bridge, then it cuts out a hole. And same again for there. So you just push bridge and it cuts out the hole for the window. Okay. Giving me the interior polygons as well. So now you're literally going to have to go around the whole building, just cutting those out. Bridge there. Bridge there. Um, we have these big windows at the front. I would just ignore those for now. We'll come back to those in a bit. Um, these windows here. When it comes to the side, we know that's not in our reference image. So we need to just go by the plans. So if you Alt, Alt X to see the transparency, you can see where our windows are. I can see there's one there. So do the same thing coming down I can see there's a window here it's probably just that top polygon um, and I can see again I've got an issue with that edge loop that is kind of annoying isn't it so it's good that then this mistake has appeared whilst I'm doing this because when you do yours you can be really careful to make sure you when you do your edge loop selections that it's selecting all of the edges that you need to move. Um, I'm going to bridge that over again. Okay, but I, I, again, I'm not going to do the whole thing. Um, I'll come back when I've 
or I've done them all, so you don't have to watch me do all of them. But yeah, you're using bridge to cut all those out. When it comes to the interior doors, you're going to have a, you know, some more geometry there. So if I, I actually do bridge between those, it will create that wall there for those interior doors. Okay, so for example, in here, there's doors here. Bridge across for those. Same again there. Same again there. And again, you know, that, that scale of that door looks about right now, so that's fine. I think my heights are all good now. I've got this kind of walkway through the building here. Okay, so again, make sure that's all done. So all the doors and windows are all looking good um, and ready to go before you move on to the next bit.